All right, welcome back to another episode of Crash. I am going to do this the same way I did the previous episode with just voiceovers. So we're going to start with Piston It Away, getting the... I believe we get the... Death Root Gem first. I don't remember. I believe initially I was going for both, but in order to get both in this one, you have to do some backtracking, and I didn't know that, so I only get the Death Root Gem. And then I go back and get the All Boxes Gem. So. I did struggle with this level, though, because you have to do pretty much the whole level without dying for the all boxes one just because you have to go on the death route and you have to go all the way basically to the end of the level on the normal path and then turn around and go back to get to the death route but if you die in any of that time the death route closes so it kind of sucks level also has a pretty crappy uh, bonus round too. I'm taking this really slow. It's really funny though, because like on the speed run, you like figure out how to do levels so fast, and then like when you watch back these levels where you're just getting all the boxes, it's so funny to see how slow you do it. I always hated that jump, I always got hit. So right there's the death route, so see, you want to skip it the first time, which you'll see in the other, when I go for the other gem. Because these two boxes, they're the only two boxes, but you can't take that path back down. You have to finish on this path. So uh, there's the only way to do it is by going on the main path, getting all the boxes, then coming up here. But I didn't do it that way. That's such crap. Thankfully, though, I am finished with this game. I did get the Platinum. So there's going to be this episode, and then there's going to be one more episode. Because if I put it all in the same episode, it would have been like 45, 50 minutes long. And I really didn't want to do that. This one's a little longer than I'd like, but I don't have any way. that it just If I try to take any from this to add it to the other one, it would have had to have been like 10 minutes. And then it would have made this video 20 minutes and that video 25 minutes. So like... I don't know, I just left it all in this one. So the final episode of Crash 2 is going to only be like 15 minutes. But it does have a bunch of trophies in it, so... There's at least... 5 trophies, I think, that I get in that episode, so it's kind of cool. At the end of this episode, though, I do... Uh, splice in the trophy that uses the same video as the Platinum. And the reason why I put it in this video is just so that it's not the same clip in the same in one video. But um, I I usually because I record on my PS5, it doesn't the regular recordings don't include trophies for some stupid reason. I don't know why Sony does that, but so but it does capture short videos of the trophies when you get them. So I just like put it in the share factory and then like go frame by frame where the trophy is and like splice it in and I've gotten really good at it like you can't really usually tell 
when I splice a trophy in. But, as you know, when you get a platinum, you have to get the last trophy in order for the platinum to pop. And it always uses the same clip because it's essentially using the same 15 seconds of video. So, anyway, I put the, the trophy that was the last trophy I needed to get the platinum in this video. But then you'll see that same clip in the final video when I get the platinum. So just try to explain that a little bit so you're not confused on that, but that's why I did it that way. If I was able to capture to a computer, I wouldn't need to do that because obviously I wouldn't have to place any trophies and they would all just, you know, I would get the one trophy to pop and then the next trophy to pop. But I kind of wish they would stagger the platinum trophy notification like, I don't know, five seconds after you get a trophy so that because in the in the console size they both pop at the same exact time so it just uses the same video clip for both of them but in reality the one pops and then a couple seconds later you see the other one pop so it just doesn't it doesn't work out so that's the way i have to do it and it seems to be okay this is really only the second time i've done it though i think the first time i had to do it was with stray so anyway, so there you see I get the gem. And then this is the end right up here. After you go under this piston. But like, I'm missing boxes clearly because I didn't do the other path. So I have to go back and do the path again. Which you will see in the next clip. Okay, so now we're gonna get the regular gem for getting all the boxes. And it's not that hard, it's just a matter of not dying, really, which sounds hard, I guess. And it can be hard, but I definitely didn't do a first try, that's for sure. It took me quite a few tries, but I've kind of realized that for the sake of my sanity and not having to like edit a whole lot with this, because again, I do it all on my PlayStation, so it's not exactly the easiest thing to do. It's just easier to just include for these videos where I'm just doing all of the... Like, after I've already beaten the game, I'm just collecting everything, getting all the time trials. It's just easier to just put in my my um, runs that I complete it. So it's just not, not long monotonous videos of me dying over and over and over and I kind of like just doing this voiceover commentary because one it allows me to focus more on the game when I'm doing it and two when I'm doing the time trials I get like really quiet because I'm trying to do it as fast as possible and honestly I don't know if anyone could talk and do that that would be really impressive but so it just works out better and that way I don't have to like stick to a certain topic or something whenever these are playing through so I hate these enemies though oftentimes like you'll slide to try and hit them and you slide too early and like their little tentacle leg things are up but you still get electrocuted and then the same goes for like bouncing on them They'll put their legs down and you'll jump and you'll still get electrocuted. It's just really annoying how it works. Now see, uh, I had saw a thing on like the wiki that you should leave that, that little whatever you want to call it thing down there alive so that you can get back, but you don't need it. You can just do the slide jump spin trick and you can jump right up there. So I don't really know why it says that, but yeah, you don't need to leave that enemy alive. This part's tricky. So you wanna leave those boxes 
is you have to hit this box and you have to go back. And the only way to get back over those nitro crates is by bouncing off of the box. You can bounce off the life box or the bouncy crate, it doesn't matter. Either one will get you over. Then you just gotta get these boxes that you that weren't obtainable because you have to hit the exclamation point. So then you just have to go back. And going back is pretty easy. Just take your time, don't hit the nitro. Which I think I actually, I might hit this nitro here, the f these crates here, I don't remember. No, I didn't, okay. There was one of my attempts where I hit that nitro, but. So yeah, so you see 16 out of 24, but it's because there's eight nitro crates, which you'll explode those on the death route. So now we just have to go a little bit further down this path, and then we can turn around and go back to the death route. These guys are annoying too. Spinning also works on them. If you did not know, you can spin them too. And they will fall off, so. I think I spin this guy here, actually. He's a pain, because if you don't time it right, he'll bop you right off that platform. So this is the last spot. Kill this last little guy. There's a life back there between these nitro crates. Be careful getting it if you want to get it. And that's the last box that is on the normal path. So then you just have to go all the way back to the death route without dying. Once you get to the death route, it's okay to die on the death route because you'll just spawn right outside the death route again. And it doesn't disappear after you've gone down it. So. That part's tricky. Just make sure you do a slide jump and you'll be all right. Now coming up to the spot I was talking about where it said to leave that one enemy alive, but you don't need to. You can just do slide, slide jump and spin and you'll pop right up that. Okay, so now once you go on the death route, you're good. Once you've activated it, you shouldn't have to worry as long as you have the lives if you die you'll be fine so this death route's not that hard I mean you've seen me do it already once but this is probably the hardest part to be honest just not getting hit by the nitro and if you have masks you'll be fine as well So like that one's just hard to avoid. I don't know how you're supposed to do that without getting hit. Just take your time here and be careful. There's uh, there's a checkpoint in the death route too. I forgot about that. So yeah, once you get that checkpoint, you're 100% golden. Of course, as long as you have lives, you'll just respawn right there. Which I do die because, you know. This part was not fun. I died quite a few times here, I think. But it was just hard. You have to like do a perfect slide jump here. Yeah, there you go. So then this is the end. Luckily I had a mask. I just like waited here because I didn't want to take a chance. Hit the crate, and that's it. All boxes. All 69 boxes. And 69 fruit. Wow, I didn't notice that when I did that. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Alright, so there you go. There is the uh, clear gem for all boxes. Next, we're going to do the time trial. So you notice I'm using Coco here, and honestly, I, I don't have anything against Coco. I just never really used her. 
but I had tried so many times with the crash and I just wanted to change something up so I figured I'd try with Coco and then did it within a couple tries using Coco. Not that I think Coco made any difference whatsoever but it was just a nice change of something to look at I guess. So now this time trial it's it was definitely one of the harder ones for sure. There were some spots where if, you, if your timing was even the slightest bit off, you were going to be screwed. So you just have to pretty much practice and get the timing down and get a good run. The ending of it is the worst. This part's not fun. I mean, the time isn't super forgiving on this one either, so you have to pretty much keep moving. Yeah, this ending part is, is the part that is the hardest. Like all these scientist guys, it's just hard to do this without stopping. And some of the slides you get so close to falling off, I'm like, that guy knocked me off so many times because my timing was off when I jump, and he would just boot me right off the platform. But once you're here and you get through and you make that slide, you're pretty much good. And you'll get the time. I don't know what the gold time is, but I got it, and that's all I cared about. Again, though, this one took me a lot of tries, so don't don't lose hope. You'll get it eventually. You just have to keep trying. Next one's going to be Rocket. <laughs> now, I was dreading these levels because I hated this jetpack in, like, just playing the main story. And... I've found that like it's actually not too hard to control a jetpack as long as you keep moving. Like if you were just trying to collect the boxes, the controls are so weird, but like if you're just holding R2 and using the analog stick to steer, which I do invert my controls because it just makes sense to me. Like pushing down should make me go up, pushing up should make me go down. I don't know why, but it just does. But you see I missed a box there, but it's fine, I still get the time. So really, as long as you keep moving here, you'll be fine. The main thing you have to do is you need to hit this guy twice. Do not let, do not wait, do not let him do his electrocution attack. You just need to go in and hit him twice in succession. If you give him any time, you're never gonna, you're never gonna get the time. So that's really the main thing you have to do. And that's the end of the level. I think I finish in under a minute. Yeah. So yeah, it was actually pretty easy. In this, the other jetpack level, which is a little harder, but I mean that one I only had to try a couple times as well. I didn't struggle too much with that one either. So the next thing we're going to move on to is Night Fight. And we need everything, so. All right, so Night Fight, these levels, honestly, are so much easier than the um, similar ones from the first game with like where you had to get the masks and the mask for your light source. These ones are so much easier like, it's crazy how much easier these ones are. There's just, there's really not a whole lot to fail here, to be honest. Whereas in the first game, you, that one level with all those platforms and everything you had to jump across. But like this one, this is simple. The only main thing here is you don't actually want to go this way. You want to take the main path. Well, I guess you do want to go this way and you want to pick up the gem. But once you get the gem, if you die, it's not a big deal because 
it's easier to backtrack on the death route where the paths join up again and get the two boxes that are here rather than go the death route and then backtrack all the way back this way. So I do die, I think. And then I end up just, because you keep the gem, I just take the normal path and then, then backtrack and get those boxes. So yeah, just, if you have the gem, see it's still in my inventory, just take the normal route. And then all you have to do whenever you get to where the paths converge again, just run backwards and get the two boxes that are on the death route and that's it. You got all the boxes. This does have a bonus level, which the bonus level, it's not super hard by any means. You just have to make sure you do it fast enough that you don't lose your light. That's really all that it comes down to. Because there are a couple spots where it would be hard to do it without the light. With a nice body slam. Like right here, which I hit the boxes because I didn't slide fast enough, but. Luckily, Nitro crates do still glow if you don't have light, but it's still hard to just. It's just hard to judge. I fell off again. I believe I get it this time. And I usually do try to collect most of the fruit because I, at this point in time, I did still need to get 99 lives. But um, there's actually a really easy way to get 99 lives. So I share that off in, I believe, the next episode. I might also make a separate video on it too, just for fun. I mean, I know uh, other people have made videos on it. I mean, I even watched a video on it, but it won't hurt for me to make my own, you know? Why not? I'm not calling it as my, uh, I didn't find it, obviously, but if other people find my video and watch it and it helps them, then, you know, it's not hurting anyone else. So anyway, those are the two boxes that are left, and that's it. You just gotta make your way to the end of the level. died. So we gotta do that again. That's like a weird hitbox on that corner. It's strange. Okay, checkpoint. No, it's just a bunch of enemies left that you just gotta dodge, really. And then there's a nitro thing at the end. And that's it, 46 out of 46. 69 fruit again, man. Oh, see, I already do have 97. I, do, I already did do the live trick because I already have 90 some lives. But I don't show that until the last episode just because I wanted this episode to pretty much be all of four, floor five. And then this time trial, I think I did this in one shot. It was super easy. I think I didn't even clip this. It's all just continuous straight from, from that last run. 
But like again, there's not a whole lot in this. You just have to jump and avoid the enemies and collect the time freeze boxes. That's it. So it's pretty easy. There's not a whole lot to it. Just don't stop running. You'll never run out of light either. That's another benefit. That was hilarious. I, I was trying to slide there and he wouldn't slide. He was just like basically humping the ground, which is hilarious to me. But I didn't get hit by the little lizard guy, so. I don't really know what you have to do to get the platinum on this. Cause I mean, I was moving. Although like, there is a couple like that. I wasted a couple seconds there. Like, I don't know what the Platinum time was. I probably was really close to it, but I wasn't going for Platinum, so... I don't think I only got one Platinum in all of these, and it was not intentional, and I was extremely surprised when I got it. So... There we go, there is Night Fight all done. The next one is Pack Attack, which is the other jetpack level. Did the time trial on this one. And I believe I leave spaced out for the for the next episode because I put in the uh, Coco trophy at the end of this one because that's the trophy that I used for uh, last so that I could make the platinum show up in my video. Because I don't want I don't want to leave a trophy for the end that I would one, have commentary during, or two, just be like talking and like have both trophies pop and then it would be weird because it would be me talking, saying the same thing twice. So this way, the way that I, when I do it this way, I do have the same video clip twice, but I can split it between videos like I did with this one. And there's no threat of me talking over it because I wasn't, my microphone was muted while I was recording this. so. It, so that I could just voice over. So that way I can say whatever I want over both clips, even though the same video clip uh, has different audio, if that makes sense. I did make a couple mistakes here, but again, these levels are pretty forgiving. And as long as you keep moving, you're good. It's just funny that these levels that I was dreading the most were probably gave me the least amount of trouble. All right, so there we go. So yeah, I believe the very last clip is the Coco double leg drop, like butt slam thing. It's like her equivalent to Crash's body slam. You just have to do it. You have to kill five enemies with it and you'll get a trophy. So you'll see that next. So here we go. I just did Turtle Woods because uh, it's a the like, first level of the game. There's a bunch of turtles, so you know why not? And I died right off the bat. <laughs> Probably could have clipped that out, but you know you gotta leave some of them in. So there's one. There's three. Four. And five. And there you go, boom chakalaka. Which you get by butt slamming five enemies with Coco. So that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, if you watched it, I appreciate it. If you leave a like, I would appreciate it. Um, 
yeah and we're gonna finish this up with one more episode and that is all of crash 2 done so i'll see you in that episode have a good one